And we want to play as clearly as possible the F naturals, which are right here, these F naturals here, especially the first one right here. <laughs> If you simply take your third finger and then your second and you remain your first finger in the air, you're going to lose your tone. So I want you to try this again. I want you to put your second finger down on the F, but then release your first and pizzicato. That's all I want you to do is to pluck that note. Pizzicato this note. And push out as hard as you can. You have to push down pretty hard, but then I want to release some of that pressure. And at one point, if you even get closer up here, you're going to feel the finger move underneath the string. You have to push down really hard. So now I want you to take that second finger and first finger and evenly distribute the pressure amongst both of them. You not only have to push down much, much less, but the string underneath the finger doesn't move. Try this. Feel the movement and don't increase any pressure. Find the pressure needed to make that clear and then release and you hear that, that you feel that. Something you can hear as an artifact as a player but you cannot necessarily hear it as an audience member. You can perceive it but it's definitely felt and heard as a player of the instrument both fingers down eliminates that. So when you are playing a passage like this, two fingers down will give you a better tone as opposed to you really have to go down. Always have your fingers move in tandem. And this happened, of course, right here with the third finger. With the fourth finger, and with the third finger. Each of those sounds so much more clear if you keep your fingers moving in tandem. That will do it separately. I really have to think about digging in and really putting in more pressure. Instead, I'm going to use less effort, but just more fingers. And it's very evident here. Lift your two fingers. You feel it moving? Place the two fingers. It's just more clear and better tone. And how this translates to your bow is when you are imagining this pizzicato a hundred times, all the time. It's with the bow. D -d -d the bow is constantly doing like multiple pizzicatos, a thousand pizzicatos, d -d 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 little tiny pizzicatos. So it's. So why would you make that more difficult for your fingers to play? Keep the fingers down less effort, more economic in your movement. And in this, in this instance, the economy is distributing, <laughs> distributive economics, be more Marx, <laughs> be more communist, if you will, <laughs> sorry, but distribute your, um, your pressure amongst all of your fingers. <laughs> The question has been asked on the plus four. That's a hard word to say, by the way. This plus four, should you place all fingers down? And the answer is, ask your cello. If it's easy to play the F sharp, I just had a series of videos about the wolf tone on the, on the F sharp. And if it's easy for you to play on a thick string, this is my C string, it's an F, it's a five string cello, but this is a thick string the lowest string on your four string cello with your most weak digit. And if you can pull that off with a single feel again, how much effort that takes 
as opposed to have your fingers down in tandem, three, four fingers is easier to have than one. You also have the time. It's not a fast piece. So yes, I would ask your cello, and if your cello says use more fingers, then do so. I'll do it with my acoustic, and it will prove a point. So here we go. I'm going to use a single digit, and then I'll use all digits, and we'll see what the cello says. That was single, single, single. Now I'm going to try full digits, full digits. I think it's obvious which was more clear. And if you have the time, use other digits in tandem. It's not a quick piece, so you can use that. Try it.